leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, I Pope Namde Kano, is believed to be setting foot into the country to attend his parents' burial. It is no news that Namde Kano is the most wanted man in Nigeria after being charged for treason and sedition by the federal government. Even his group, IPOP, has been declared a terrorist group by President Muhammadu Buhari. This is following the agitation and violent protest by the group for the freedom and secession of Biafra from Nigeria. Kano had escaped the country by unknown means and has since been declared wanted by the government. The wanted man is most likely to set foot in Nigeria to attend his parents' burial and in pursuance to this, the government has deployed battalions of military personnel to Humahia, the capital of Abia State, where Kano is from. As of now, there is no evidence that he is in the country, but speculation has it that he may disguise himself to attend his this event. There is tension everywhere and even the state government has imposed coffee on the state to prevent anyone from endangering their lives. <clears throat> this is serious. Funny people everywhere. I want to ask a question. I don't know uh, that this Namdi Kano is as a it's like a Namdi Kano is the is the president of the world. Because if a uh, they are looking for Namde Kano like this. It's not as if they don't know where Namde Kano is because normally, according to the way it ought to be, maybe by law, they are supposed to have called him back out anywhere he, he will be in this country. Interpol would have, you know, done the needful instead of what they say, gra, gra, gra. But the question is that if they can deploy army, battalions, just for one man, and these people, the, these people who are supposed to be, you know, part of the burial ceremony and you are telling them not to be there, but I'm, I'm sure they are there. The uh, whole thing is ongoing. If they can deploy this uh, uh, kind of a, a security apparatus just to Umahia, I don't think uh, they are looking for Chicago. I don't know whether the uh, Chicago, the Boko leader, has been declared wanted in the first place. If he has been declared wanted, why is it that uh, Chicago, I don't know whether it's in the, in the country, I don't know, it will be, be giving, it will be uh, making statements making videos here and there and posting it, sending messages to them. They have never used this kind of a power, or I don't know, let me just use that word. They have never exercised this kind of a strength to look for Chicago. And they are looking for Nam De Kano that has not killed a, a flies, which is even the, the, the reason for the agitation is not meant, is not for, is not violence. It's not meant for... Uh, you know, taking people's lives. It's, we want to go our separate ways and they have not been killing anybody. Even this uh, issue of every year and day saying they have been declared a terrorist group, terrorist organization. I don't, it's not even adding up. It's not really adding up because when we know the, the, the so called terrorists, we know them. If Shekau is in the, is in the country, which I believe he is, because these uh, Boko people who have been operating, they are not uh, uh, operating from, from the space. They are not operating from outside the country. They are in the country. And yet, they've not been able to exercise this power, this strength to look for this guy, to even to be able to bring them down. Somebody who does not even have a, a, a razor blade, they are looking for him like this. Is it not shameful? Is it not shameful? When they're supposed to be, when they're supposed to be, what are, they're supposed to be looking for, how to curb what the insecurity that is going on in this country, on how to curb it. They are not doing that. Looking for somebody who cannot, who does not even have a razor blade. This is serious. Anytime you see that Shekau, you will always see him with his men, with all manner of ammunition. Yet, they are not looking for this guy like that. Even the Shekau is even laughing at a Burutai and a, what is this called? A, a, a Buari. And he has warned Buari not to come back to, the, to Bono State. That if he if he tries it next time, and I could remember when during the time of Good Luck Jonathan, the same Shekau made a statement that that Nigerians are just wasting their time. That if they like oh, they retain a good local. If they like oh, they they bring a Buari oh, that it's not going to change anything. But as Buari came, he tried to do gra 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 gra, and before you knew it, he changed the change strategy. And that's why I always say they change strategy. But our people, they so call me. I have not been able to change strategy because of a lot of things, you know, that will be known to them that we might even, you know, be aware of because of a, you know, lack of funding, 
a lack of a you know sophisticated equipment these people they have they have changed into a many many things we don't we don't know whether they are the one disguising as a a, a, a sma they are the one bandits all manner of things now they don't even the government is just priding itself that uh, yes so they have not uh, they are not uh, occupying any territory they are not occupying any ter territory whether if they occupy territory and they are not even taking people's life it would have been better but their aim is to take people's lives and which they are doing so what which job what job have you done they will be telling you oh abuja used to be this abuja used to be that then abuja used to be so hot according to the their arguments and their defense but now the whole country now is circulated with all these sma taking people's lives because before now we we never had this uh, sma all over the place committing all manner, all manner of atrocities we never had it this bad so if you are telling us oh abuja used to be uh a very uh, dangerous place then but now there, there's calmness everywhere but i can put it to them that now the whole country now nowhere is safe esme have taken over so what are we talking about if they can deploy this exercise this this strength in looking for nam they can know if they have deployed the same exercise and the same power in, in looking for Chicago and its men, it would have been better. If the old world is hearing now, they will think, oh, there's one man that is coming with a uh, battalion of uh, 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 soldiers. Eh? I don't understand. Or this is just to try to, you know, they have been doing this. Maybe they are just trying to uh, divert attention, in my opinion. Maybe they are just trying to divert attention. Of course, the barrier is going to end. Whether today or tomorrow, it will end. So definitely, irrespective of what they are trying to do, whether they are trying to uh, a, 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 not even letting people to know, just to divert attention, if that's what they are talking about or that is their strategy, definitely the whole thing will be over. The barrier will, will be over. They will not come back to reality. Of course, the reality is still there. They will not know what's the next line of action on how they are going to deal with a uh, Chicago and his men because of one man. In my opinion, I'm not sure Nam they can will be so will be so I don't know, will be so daft to that extent to say he wants to come to the to, to, to is, is I don't think so. I don't think so. See the preparation since over one week now. The preparation because of this barrier. It is not government's barrier. It's not state barrier. I don't I see no reason why they are they are, they are doing all of these things. This is just a misplaced a priority, in my opinion. Someone is saying here that uh, Namde Kano is in Uma here now, but you will not see him. And uh, someone says uh, here yeah, that uh, they are searching everywhere to get Namde Kano arrested, but they are not searching everywhere to get the uh, head of Boko people, Esme, and all the heads of a terrorist group arrested. All of us know that. Nam Dekano is not a terrorist. Of, of course, Mbano, lie, lie, he's not a terrorist. It's, it's even awkward when you call him a terrorist. It's awkward. Nigerian government should allow Nam Dekano to bury his parents in peace. Mm. Kano, uh, useless government with useless idea, battalion soldier, just for one man. Even if you get him and kill him, did it stop there? Every Igbo man is indigenous people of Biafra. I suggest you kill anybody who is an Igbo that is in the O. That is that is the only way Biafra will stop Nigeria as expired. Someone says, yes, Namde Kano is in Huma here. That guy called Namde is too crafty. He's here smarter than Nigeria government. Hey, hey. Let's see what happens. Someone says here that uh, cowards keep on chasing shadows. You, are, you will never see him. Someone says, at the end of the day, Kano will fool Nigeria army, I bet you. <laughs> eh, he's there already since yesterday, but can't get him. He knows an invisible man. He is now an invisible man to the zoo. Hmm. Boko Haram in waiting, is waiting for you in Sambisa, and you are in Abia looking for one man. This is unfortunate. This is very, very unfortunate. Someone says the government is not serious. I wish that God will come and, and, and deal with them decisively because this is not the way to go. Where they need them most, they are not there. They are not there. There is no preparation for, for the people who are 
taking people's lives every now and then. Just like I said, Shigaru has already uh, uh, warned Buari not to step his feet back into the bonus seat again. If he does that, that he will regret doing that. And he's mocking uh, Burutai that uh, they say that they have defeated them. He's just laughing at them. We can imagine chasing one man. Are you going to see him? Do you think he's going to be around there? In my opinion, I'm sure. I'm very sure that he might not be there. So, guys, I let us hear what your opinion concerning uh, the developments that the army, you know, searching for Namdekano everywhere in Afaruku. Leave your comments below and let's have your.